All right, holiday season's here. It can be really hard to know how to make the biggest impact. If you're thinking about giving to charities, nonprofits, local financial professional Mark Triplett from Triplett Westendorf Financial Group is here with strategies. So first, let's talk inflation. It's put a strain on both individuals and organizations. How is it affecting charitable donations this year? Well, actually, last year, I'll start there. Last year, mm -hmm. charitable donations were down 10.5%. Uh, which is only the fourth time out of the last four decades where year-over-year -year charitable donations didn't go up. So definitely folks were feeling the pinch a year ago. You know, inflation's peaked at 9%, now coming back down to 3.2% um, with the last reading. Uh, but despite folks feeling stretched, those that were giving last year are still expecting to give as much or more this year. So I wow. think uh, you know, we'll see maybe folks uh, be able to give a little bit more this year than maybe they did last year. What else should we be keeping in mind when planning our donations you know, strategically? Well, first of all, uh, if you're a charitably minded, then that should be the first you know, first criteria. I want to give the, to charity. Then if you can do it in a tax efficient way, why not, right? So we recommend doing things like bunching your donations. Um, most folks uh, are going to collect uh, claim a standard deduction. And unless your, your itemized deductions are more than the standard deduction, then you really don't get a tax uh, benefit from that. So bunching your donations rather than making uh, donations every year, maybe doing it every two years or three years and making larger donations, um, that's one way to take advantage of that. You can also gift highly appreciated securities. Like, let's say you own a stock. You bought it years ago. It's appreciated. If you sold it, you'd have to pay capital gains, but you can donate that directly to the charity. They can get, um, they can sell it immediately and use those funds. You get the donation. They don't pay any taxes. You don't pay any taxes. So that's a great way to give. I also like using qualified charitable distributions. If you're 70 and a half years of age today or older, you can direct gift up to $100,000 out of your IRA directly to a charity. It satisfies your required minimum distributions. Most folks don't like those anyway. And you get the tax deduction on that. So that's a great way to give. And lastly, you can open up a donor advised fund. That's a place where you can uh, donate uh, your, your assets to today without knowing exactly which organizations you want to give to. So let's pull this all together. I know of a couple that used bunching to donate highly appreciated securities into a donor advised fund, allowing them to exceed the standard deduction, get the deduction, lower their, their, uh, their income for the year, which opened up the door to do some pretty significant Roth conversions, which I love to talk about too. So great ways to give and also do it in a tax efficient manner. Yes, there's so many ways. I mean, you just rattled off something for everyone pretty much. What can we do to make the most of our giving before we go? Well, it, you know, money means different things to different people, and if money feels tight to you, just know that giving cash donations isn't the only way to give. If you really want to give back and you can maybe donate some lightly used clothes or give to food banks or just donate your time, there's all different kinds of ways to give to causes that you're passionate about. Um, find something that you're passionate about. Make sure that the donations that you're making are going to that cause and, and being used in the manner that you feel good about. And then if you are looking to take advantage financially um, with regard to some of these tax deductions, work with a tax professional and a financial professional to help you make them the most of those donations. Mark